Okay, hello again everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. I am Dennis, I am the Paleo Gamer, and we are going to try to complete um, Phase 2, or Tier 2, today. Um, I think we should be able to get close, uh, so let's get back on the road again, as it were, and see what's going on in Massage 2 A, B, B. Okay. Now, it has occurred to me that I have kind of messed myself up by switch starting Logistics Mark II. Yes, I do like the idea of getting the faster um, belts, but reinforced iron plates right here require a manufacturer to build. And the Mark II belts will require those. So rather than continuing this, I think I'm going to switch back to parts assembly because that will give me the assembler which will let me automate that. So, let's actually switch to that one. The problem is I don't have a lot of the stuff that needs right away because it's already been committed elsewhere. But fortunately, well, I'm not making screws yet, but I'm making everything else. So let's go out and see what we can get started on here. Okay, uh, that's my concrete factory over there. I had turned these off because I was thinking I might do something different, but I'm going to turn them back on. And we're going to, since we have, um, do we have splitters yet? That's actually a good question. Do I have splitters yet? Without that. Yes, I have splitters. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of start upping my um, output here. Because we're going to need all this stuff. A lot of this stuff. So I'm going to put a splitter right about here. And it says I need iron plates and cables, which I just used elsewhere. Okay. Great. We're off to a flying start. Okay. I got plates down here. Fine. Um and cables. Um, I think I'm building cables up here, maybe. Now I'm tired of running in circles every time I want to get up there. I need concrete. Let's see what we got. We'll take all those. In fact, I'm going to take this down because I want to build another constructor here. Because what I want to be able to do is start getting multiple things running. Can I build a splitter? No, because I'm missing cable. Okay. I want to start making cables, that's what I want to start doing, so I gotta get some. I have to make some of those manually, it looks like. But then I can automate that. So we need cables, where's cables? Right there. Let's build like a hundred of those just to get started. And then we're going to set up automating all the stuff we're going to be needing here. So all that will be 
done at some point. Okay. I better go pick up some plates and rods while I'm standing here. Maybe I should automate the plates and rods first, or the screws, and then go back over there. Okay. Maybe I'll do it this way. Yes, you can tell how well planned out my factories are. Okay, let's start over here. Just plug a splitter in here somehow. Yeah, just shove that right in there. Come over here and build another smelter. This smelter will start. And I need to make sure I don't load any of my lines. So you can start smelting. Then you can start making what am I missing? Reinforced iron plates. That's why I need to get this manufacturer up and going as fast as I can. Where's my reinforced iron plates? I can't make any because I don't have any screws. So let's make some screws. The other thing I need to be making, I, like I said, I want to automate all of these things so I can won't have to worry about them anymore. enough for right now. And it maxed out 11, because I think that's all the um, plates I have. Yeah, okay. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Well, let's make as many as I can then. area is going to be throw away. Should make plates. Good. Let's um, run some more wiring. And then see if I can clip a merger into here. Missing iron plate. ugly, but again, this is all threw away, but I'm building, so, and, okay, I just doubled my iron plate production. Now let's go over here and see if I can build a, um, start getting screws automated. To make screws, I'm going to need, um, and I always collect these when I go past, to build screws, I'm going to need, um, rods right now because I don't have any alternate recipes. There's a really good alternate recipe called cast screws. It's just as efficient for resources but you only need you can make them directly instead of a two tier production thing. So let's put a split oh is that not gonna work? Well there. smelter here. Okay. And you start making ingots. Okay. 
Okay. Let's run a power line. Over. Because I'm going to need power for all this. Power you up. What are we doing on power right now? Uh, we're pretty... Capacity is about 60, and our consumption is 76. Yeah, we're going to crash soon. Um, let's go take care of that before it takes care of itself. Okay, I'm just going to, this is going to shut everything down, but we need to do some cleanup over here anyway. Okay. Because I also want to start prepping for when I get solid biofuel, which is going to be one of my next um, achievements. So let's plan a merger here and connect both of these to it. So we're now. And, um. Eh. Here. Yeah, it's about out. So, um, let's put a. <sighs> use a storage container here as a buffer. Okay. Throw a few power poles down so we can start doing things. this. Okay. I'm just doing this because I'm going to be expanding in the future. Uh, right now I want to get four power plants up and running. So let's just do two there. Two there. burners up, facing inward, kind of line it up on that line so they can kind of line with one another. Okay, and I'm missing iron plates again. <sighs> of course, nothing's running over here right now, so I may not have too many. That'll be enough. set up. There and there. Okay. We're going to need these things to have power lines. So let's stick a power line here. A power line here. And connect them to each of these. Connect you to there, you to there, and just feed all of these things. So now we'll have four planes starting, and I'll just start these two guys manually.
Sleuth are running now. Get your power lines up and going. There. And there. Okay, over here. Apparently I haven't connected it up yet. There we go. And so now we're feeding, we're creating biomass, merging it into one type of container. Although I don't know why these keep not sorting properly, but okay. So now we've got full biomass running. Dump all these leaves into here so it'll keep generating for me. And the wood over here. And now we should have 120, yeah, we've got 120 megawatts coming out of our system. So, um, we'll just lock in there. There. Now everything's running again. And we have a lot more power than we did in the past. And, um... You guys are out of fuel. Okay. So I'll just um, see what if I can clean up some of this cable over here. I mean, y'all are what are feeding that over there, but you're coming in from way, you're coming around in a circle there. So, um,. Just trying to organize my um, cabling a bit better here. There. Okay. And now these guys I'm not using anymore. So let's get back to where I was trying to set up my um, screw factory. Are we? Get yeah, we're getting plenty of plates now. So I got a smelter up there that I believe is running. Clean up the, clean out an area down here to um, pick up stuff. Because I'm gonna put some stuff down here, and we need these for later anyway. So let's say about here, I put a constructor. And, um, get a power pole. We'll, um, gets down. I want you to make rods. And then after rods, I need a second constructor. That is going to be making screws. And again, we're not being totally efficient here. We're just trying to get everything uh, started. Bring another power pole down. Now you're constructing. And let's um, build a place to put the screws. Now, while all that is happening, let's go back to where we were over here, trying to set up a, get our wire factories going. Take more of that. Take what I got here, okay. And go back over here. You're 
not doing anything. Why are you not doing anything? Oh yeah, I never finished the new splitter over here. Okay. splitter here because I want to eventually feed these other two um, these smelters because we're a little more organized here than we were on the other end okay in front of you I want to put another constructor Plates and rods over there, and screws over there. We've got wire and cable here, and we have concrete up here. So now all we have to do is, why is that line highlighted? Oh well. Am I stuck in a... Why is that line highlighted? second rod factory soon. So we've got a convenient splitter here, so let's put another smelter in place. Everything's kind of glitchy and flickering, but we've got it going. Okay. So, we've got rods coming out at a good rate. We've got plates coming out at a good rate. Um, screws were probably still a little light on, but we'll have to worry about that later because you can never get enough screws, and I put it the wrong way. So let's see what we can feed the machine with. Um, I couldn't even manufacture enough cable. Okay, so I have everything done except cable, and I'm manufacturing that here. Let's see how our power grid's holding up. 
Capacity 120, max consumption 96. Okay, we're still pretty good on that. Let's see how we're doing on cables here. We've already got 68. We needed way more than that, but we've already got 68. So I'm going to come over here and grab you. Hopefully we will soon get to the point we won't have to be manufacturing this stuff by hand. Let's make about 200 of these. Now I'm also getting kind of crowded in the middle of the um, world here, in the middle of this build area, so I'm going to eventually move this um, hub. It's one of the reasons I'm not been putting things in the storage chest. Okay, that should be enough for now. That should let us, and we're ready. Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve Fixit company goals without any other ulterior motive. Note, humans cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fixit cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Thank you, Fixit. I'm so glad we have so much in common. Okay. Um, we're still doing good over here. Start picking up stuff. Okay. A few hundred screws. Rods are about a hundred rods. Now let's see if I can build a manufacturer here. Manuf or assembler, excuse me. I need more reinforced iron plates, and I need rotors. Rotors is another thing I'm gonna have to start assembling soon. Hmm. Okay. Um, I need eight of these, it said. There we go. And I need... I need more rotors than that, and I'm going to run out of screws. I'm going to have to get a second screw line up and running fairly soon. Problem is, I've already got that line maxed out on them. Hmm. Let's see what... I can make some screws myself. Yeah, let's just do that for right now. I don't like this, but let's do it for right now. I'm getting a good rate of rods now. Okay, I guess I'm going to need some rods to make those other rotors, so I can't get too far there. Okay. 
that should be enough for now. Um, where is all my stuff? Okay, manufacturer, or constructor, I keep saying manufacturer. Assembler, that's what I want. Okay. Now you're gonna be making reinforced iron plates. So I need to give you plates and screws. And I'm probably not making enough of either, but we'll just learn to deal with it. Okay. This will probably work better if I give it power, won't it? Okay. There. Now then, what do we need to build next? Okay, just go in line. I'm going to build obstacle clearing next because I want to get to solid biofuel. It will help me with my um, it will help power in the short term so we're going to go with that well, we can't put anything there because we don't have um, just the pods not bad i will be back in about 30 seconds in fact here it comes I do like the animations and all that, you know, things like this. I mean, it could have, it's not just, it just vanishes. You actually get to see the thing fly around. And here we go. So there's almost all the screws I need. I need more cable. There's all the, there should be enough screws over here in the, wherever the screw factory is now. Ooh, I don't have enough screws. I'm not make. oh, I need 60 a minute and I'm not making 60 a minute. Okay, so we definitely need another screw factory. Um, let me go over wherever here is and get some more cables. Here. Go up here and grab all of this. Okay. Yeah, I don't have enough screws coming in. That's going to be a problem. But screws aren't that hard to make. Let's make a few hundred of them for now. So we'll probably need more for the next phase. I could take my rod output and turn that into screws, but that would short me on rods. I mean, I've got two plate and two rod lines. I guess I need two screw lines as well. And even those are not efficient because the way it works. I'm going to stop there. The way it works is you just get okay. You're done. You're done. Okay. We can now make solid biofuel. Milestone reached. Solid biofuel created from any biomass That's kind of a ensures maximum thing, efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, the chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. Additionally, your pocket dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. Inspirational note, will you be the Fix-It employee of the month? You could be if you construct, automate, explore and exploit by eliminating all obstacles to efficiency. This isn't just fun, it's contractually mandated, fun fun fun. 
Okay, sorry, I was talking about Ada there. I said I'm going to skip across jump pads because they're kind of... Honestly, I have completed the game four times in Early Access. I don't think I ever once used these. So I'm going to go to here just because I want the customizer. And Awesome Sing, Awesome Shop will start letting us do some nicer things. So we're going to select that. But I can't put anything in until later. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually take my factory down for a while. Because I'm going to rebuild all of this. Okay. I'm going to get as much of this done as I can. Because that way I can get more efficient power. And I can just manually restart this stuff. Okay. Okay. First thing I need to do is right here build a new constructor, which I'm missing reinforced iron plates. <sighs> How many did I build? There we go. I got 15. Need a new constructor right here. Not a similar constructor. And you're going to be making solid biofuel. And we need to get you powered up, so... Oh, look what's back. And in front of you, I'm going to put a storage unit, just because they make useful buffers. There we go. In front of it, I'm going to build a total of six biomass burgers. Somewhat here because honestly, my whole production grid is down at this point, so I don't have anything coming in. Great, okay. And I fell off the world, okay. I do have walls that I could put up, you know. Okay. Also need to hook all these into the power grid. So there's three of them. There's two. There's three. Okay, all of these are now connected. And let's go on the other side. 
This should give me a total of 180 megawatts, which should be enough until I get the uh, next stage of production I've been running. Now the one thing I have to do, right now these are all isolated. So the one thing I need to do is I need to get some solid biofuel to kick some of these off. Okay. So I'm going to go over here and make some solid biofuel. Not a lot, because I won't need a lot. Because I've got a machine that's going to be doing it for me very, very soon. I just need to get enough to get one or two of these started. Okay, that's enough. Now I'm going to split this stack. Now I split that stack, so now we'll just get the first two up and running. Okay. Now everything should start running. Go down here and dump all the biomass I'm carrying around into this so it can start being turned into something useful. Get rid of that while I'm at it. Then I'm going to wait until all six of these come up. You see they're starting to power up as the um, biofuel splits out into them. We'll try and figure out why this one is. Oh, here he comes. Now he's getting Okay, so now everybody's up and running. So now all I have to do is reconnect my old power grid again. And just like that, everything is back up and running, except for that guy, because I had him powered directly. Okay, so everything's up and running now. And we should have enough power to last us basically indefinitely. Our consumption right now is 115, we're producing 180. So we're going to be good for the foreseeable future. So the next thing I need to do is, you're waiting on, it's almost enough. That's enough, I need a lot of these. And that's enough. So I need to get a bunch of rods. And fortunately enough, I'm building a bunch of rods. They're over here, but I'm building a bunch of rods. How many do we have? 177. Not quite enough yet. I have 178. I need another 10 to make that. So let's grab those. There we go. What am I missing? Oh, I don't quite have enough concrete. I thought I did. My mistake. Milestone reached. You have been given access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanet's bonus program, also known as Awesome. Your awesome input allows Fixit to comprehend our amazing universe more clearly. In appreciation of this, we have generously set up an internal, closed economy with exclusive rewards and currency. Directing parts of varying quantity and complexity into the awesome resource sink will grant Fixit coupons. These coupons can be redeemed in the awesome shop for highly desirable items such as new foundations, walls, factory attachments, cosmetics, parts, and more. Next time you have additional resources just remember to go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Okay, we don't really have anything we can spare right now. 
but we now need logistics. So remember I had already started on this, so I've already got several layers of this completed. So it's actually gonna be pretty fast. Um, the only thing I really need is I need a few more rods. I need concrete and I need um, reinforced iron plates, which I'm making now. So, let's see how that's going. Because it's taking my entire output. See, so I already got 25. Still not making enough screws. That's enough rods to fill out the rod, but I can't do anything until like, the thing comes back anyway. So, let's go up here and see if I can get a second screw factory going. I can squeeze another machine into this mess. smelter, which God alone knows where I can put another smelter. I guess it's going to be down there. Okay. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to briefly disassemble this, put another splitter, Go ahead and clip through the ground, that's fine. No one will notice. Um, for the record, I'm now totally using that... Um, iron node up there. It's producing 120 a minute and it's feeding four smelters each of which take three. Now, to be fair, I could, instead of doing this, I could have split the output because you see my, that's not what I'm going to show you, this one. I'm producing 30 per minute and I only use 15 iron rods per minute. So I can get more efficiency out of things that way too. But right now, we're going to go over here, and we're just going to set up an entirely separate screw line. Oh, hey, let's do it. Let's go ahead and split this up. Let's build two constructors. There's one there. Each constructor is using iron rods, but it only takes 15 ingots to make 15 iron rods. This guy is producing 30 ingots. So we can put a splitter in. And I'm out of iron rods. Okay. over here I should be having a surplus because of the way that works okay there you go into there you go into there okay. and I need to get you some power Okay, now we are produ these two are producing between them 30 iron rods a minute. 
Now, if you look at our screw manufacturer over here, constructor, clear some space. If you look at the one we are making screws out of, you'll see that I only take 10 iron rods. Between these two, I'm making 30. So we're going to do a little bit more playing here. We're going to do a merger. And that's going to each take. Which means I will now have 30 coming out of here. I'm going to put a splitter here. Then in front of that, I'm going to put, and I'm running into where I had started building something else, all of which is going to have to be cleaned up at some point. But okay, I'm going to put three constructors if I have enough plates for that. I'm going to put one, two, each of these will, because of the way the splitters work, be getting 10 iron rods. And where's my power pole? Can I see where my last power pole is? It's right there. Get all of you switched screws. Now the problem here, these guys are producing 40 screws a minute. So I'm going to have a total of 120 screws per minute coming out of these guys. Which is more than my current... Um, merger, that's what I'm looking for. Which is more than my current system can handle. Because I don't have a belt capable of 120. But, okay, need to put that further out. Let's put it, um, let's just put it kind of here. Because again, this is all, unfortunately, throwaway. And I'm out of our plates again. Just set you up with another container for right now. So this will just give you giving me a lot more screws. So let's go see how our um, logistics are going. This guy has 29 plates, which is not quite enough to get us to the next level. And I need to go pick up some concrete. see how this does for us. We got all the rods we need, all the plates we need, 
all the concrete we need, and we're three short on reinforced iron plates. Which might actually have been built while we were running around. Matter of fact, they were. All right. And there we go. Logistics 2. Milestone reached. Fixit would like to remind you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. Recreational use of belts and lifts does not count towards work hours and will put you on the list. Stay efficient. Don't disappoint Fixit. Well, I certainly don't want to be on the list. Um, what we got now, the only thing we have left is jump pads, which... Honestly, I don't care about, and we've got everything we need to start making those in bulk. So we're going to get it done. Um, we didn't quite get all the way to through um, Tier 2, like I had wanted to, but, you know, I'm coming up on an hour, so I need to start coming up with a spot to break. Um, um, I'll have to make a bunch of rotors manually because I don't have a well I have screws and everything else I can probably start a rotor factory running but um, that'll be for next time my main thing right now is I need to start cleaning up all of, start building a true mega factory as opposed to this mess that I have right now I mean this works but it's um, it's your typical spaghetti starter factory. And I need to get this cleaned up. How are we doing on power? Do I need to expand my power grid? Uh, production keeps... Capacity keeps dropping up and down. Hmm, interesting. Oh, because I can't feed it fast enough. Um... Because I can now build speed two belts, can I? And those belts need the reinforced iron plates that are coming out of here as well. So that's going to be a Wasting time here, but let's see if this will solve my immediate problem. And I think I'm out again. Yeah, I need more plates. Yeah, I think the problem is I'm just not feeding these machines fast enough. See, it doesn't have enough, or it's not maxing out. I think I'm just not feeding. So, that's what I'll have to do next. I'm going to have to update my power grid a bit, and then we'll um, see about clearing some space to get things a little more organized. Like I said, I want to um, move my base, wherever my base is, it's way over there. I need to move it. I'm going to move it probably up onto these rocks up here, overlooking it. Then I'm going to build a raised platform up above this and turn that into a mega factory where all these things are just feeding into it. And we'll try to be operating at full efficiency. But until then, I'm going to call this for now. Um, my name is Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer, and we have been playing Satisfactory 1.0 Tier 2. And I will see all of you next time.